Karen? But you may have. Huh? It's, it's pretty crazy that the ants are right there, though. They were battling. It's pretty cool. Okay, folks, welcome. This is Tom from Whistle Thicket in Western North Carolina. Got a little swarm here from my hives. Um, this is probably going to be a short video. I just want to talk about the difference between a swarm, a hive that's going to swarm, and a hive that absconds, okay? A lot of times people get those two B terms confused and misuse them and uh, try to do my best to share what I know with people that want to listen. So a swarm is when a queen leaves, usually with about half of the bees of the, the colony, typically in the spring, early summer. It can happen throughout the fall, but typically in the spring, um, a hive that has overwintered, that's strong, the winter bees, um, are gone and the spring and summer bees which only live um, about six to, to seven weeks um, are building up the queen's been laying a lot the queen's running out of room and what typically happens with a swarm is that the worker bees have decided to make a new queen they want to make a new queen for a couple reasons um, they want to swarm but also that queen's getting a little bit older and they have to make a queen. Queens are not um, laid as an egg that is a queen. Queens are chosen by the female worker bees to become a queen, which I think is incredible. They feed a worker larva um, royal jelly for a few extra days. Um, all worker bees get royal jelly for about three days but the uh queen bee gets it for uh or a larva that the worker bees want to become a queen bee gets it for six days and then her pupa is capped and that extra royal jelly actually turns on segments of the bee's dna to um turn her into a queen i mean that is just incredible anyone can be a queen any worker bee could be a queen potentially a larva it has to be a larva that's three days or less as far as uh from egg to larva um so a swarm the queen the old queen decides to leave with half the hive to live another day okay um absconding could happen at any time but absconding means that for whatever reason, the bees don't like their home and they got to get out of there. Um, usually it's some sort of uh, pest problem. Um, a lot of people like to say their hive absconded because of mites or they don't check on their bees enough and they say, oh, it must have flown away. That's kind of beekeepers wanting to be um positive but a lot of times when you say your bees absconded your bees probably died and you just didn't check on them and maybe you saw a few dead bees or something and you're like oh they flew away but probably they absconded or they died over a couple weeks from um varroa mite and you just want to feel good about yourself and you say they absconded absconding in my opinion is a lot rarer then swarming, swarming happens all the time with strong hives. Absconding, a great example, my friend has a bee tree, a maple tree, um, that every spring there's um, swarms that move into this bee tree and um, sometimes they live a year or two, um, sometimes they only last a season, but whenever that tree is available, usually the next spring there's a wild swarm that that moves in um this spring um the hive moved in only stayed there about three days and the problem was there was already right next to it and maybe even inside uh the old colony hole uh the cavity um there were army ants uh big black ants that had also decided to live in that tree and it looks like the ants won out 
and they forced the swarm of bees to leave. So the swarm of bees flew away. They absconded. Um, much more rare than a swarm. Um, and sometimes we like to say our bees absconded, but unfortunately a lot of times your bees just die and you're not keeping up with what's happening or maybe you don't know what's happening. Uh, swarming though is right here. And uh, I'm gonna give you a closer look here and I'm going to hopefully catch this swarm in the next couple minutes, not in this video, but in the next video, you'll get to see me catch this swarm. So if you uh, like this video, say hello and uh, check out the next one. Okay, somewhere in here, there's a queen. I'm going to go ahead and catch her and uh, another hive. I'd rather catch the hive and have another hive than let them fly away. It's pretty crazy that the ants are right there, though. They were battling. It's pretty cool.